Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Troy's Life with CKD. I'm Troy, and I have chronic kidney disease. Uh, today I'm at the Infusion Center doing my seventh intravenous immunoglobulin treatment, also known as IVIG. Um, and IVIG is a blood product that contains antibodies from a thousand, sometimes up to 15,000 different donors. Um, it's given to someone like me who has a compromised immune system. Although I have an autoimmune disease or IgA nephropathy, uh, I get this because I have a weakened immune system due to these immunosuppressive drugs that I take. Um, so these immunosuppressive drugs that I take, um, azathioprine and prednisone, they lower my entire immune system so that I have less IgA buildup in my kidneys, therefore less inflammation in my kidneys and therefore better kidney function. Um, but the drawback is, is that I have a weakened immune system, so I'm more at risk to infections. And actually infections or getting sick can cause me to, well, have that IgA buildup and inflammation in my kidneys and that can actually cause permanent damage or permanent lesser function in my kidneys, or, yeah. Um, so getting sick is definitely bad. Uh, I think since I've started IVIG, I, let's see. I've only gotten sick twice in the past six to seven months, which is pretty good. Um, I think prior to doing IVIG treatments, I was getting sick like twice a month, which was really bad. And I saw a pretty big decrease in my GFR or my uh, glomular filtration rate, uh, which is basically the generalization of how well my kidneys are functioning. So I think last time my GFR was 50, um, or I guess you could uh, you could generalize that to my kidneys were functioning at 50%. Um, hopefully, my GFR went up and I remember my kidneys are functioning better than just 50%, but uh, at the very least, I hope that my kidneys are still functioning at around 50%, uh, rather than there being a decrease in my kidney function. But I just did a lab. Te I just did a set of labs, um, blood and urine. So hopefully the blood test comes back um, with good news, and I have a better GFR. And also hopefully my hemoglobin is. Uh, I don't know it's kind of weird to say. Like I hope my hemoglobin levels are under the threshold at which I can get uh, the Aaron Esp injection that I mentioned in my last video. Um, I think it has to be under 11, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, I think last time my hemoglobin was met, my hemoglobin was measured at 10.6, so I did receive the Aaronesp injection for my anemia. Uh, hopefully that that is the case today. Um, and I guess also hopefully my urinalysis comes back and shows that uh, I don't have too much protein in my urine, but uh, we'll see. So I just uh, I just took a Benadryl and some Tylenol, so I'm getting kind of sleepy. But uh, the nurse who just set me up said that my treatment should take about two hours in total. So actually, I guess I'll... This is the machine here with the medication. And uh, they're gonna titrate me up every half an hour or so, uh, so that my process is sped up a bit. Um, I guess titration means that they're going to increase the amount of the IVIG dosage or bag that I get. Um, I guess not the amount. Uh, the dosage that I get from the bag so that the process is sped up uh, incrementally. And uh, yeah, so I'll check in after I'm done with the treatment. I am going to take a nap now because I'm super tired and my eyes are getting super heavy. Hey guys, uh, I just finished up my IVIG appointment. Uh, I'm waiting in the car right now because I'm still a little bit drowsy and probably shouldn't be driving quite yet. Um, I think overall the appointment went pretty well. Uh, the actual infusion only took two hours, like I said before. And then the rest of the time was just all the preparation and checking vitals and stuff like that. Um, they actually gave me back my blood drawing results and my GFR was 50 again. So that's not bad news, it's just there wasn't the improvement that I was hoping for. Um, but you know, it's hard to complain, at least my GFR was stable and it uh, stayed at 50. 
and also my hemoglobin was 8.1 which was pretty low uh, last time they checked it was it was 10.3 and I asked them what the threshold was again uh, just to double check and the threshold was 11 that I had to be under in order to receive the uh, air nasp injection which is once again for anemia um, so I got that today and hopefully that uh, will help relieve some of the symptoms that I feel or experience um, anyways that's basically it uh, that's all there is to the IVIG um, treatments and it's pretty simple so that's what you can expect. Oh yeah, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe.